This video is brought to you in part by the EnviroCleanse mobile air system. Truly clean air is finally achievable without compromise. Find out more at airbornesurfer.com slash EnviroCleanse. Link in the doobly-doo. Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and I have a little bit of a problem. You see, my wife and I bought this Cadillac of a sofa a while back. It's got power recliners, USB ports, mains outlets, the works. No, this isn't a review of the sofa. I haven't sold out that badly yet. The problem is these integrated cup holders. Now they're super rad and awesome, but they are absolutely rubbish for holding a decent coffee mug. Now, my wife wants to solve the problem by buying a bunch of those ceramic travel style tumblers like you find at Starbucks. You know, that whole restructure your lifestyle because you don't fit into the ecosystem anymore ideal that Apple et al. has been pushing. But I say nay nay! And if there's anything I know, it's making technology work for me not the other way around. So we're gonna fix this problem by creating our own cup holder adapter. Tally-ho! Oh, by the way, if you like messing around in the shop and coming up with solutions to problems that nobody really thought existed, then go ahead and click the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon. Okay, so this should be just a pretty simple solution. I have a cylinder here uh, that just goes up to the top and provides nice stable platform. I don't know if I want to uh, integrate a new cup holder, so to speak, or actually use something that, you know what, I think I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm just going to put a rim around that, so you have like a little bit where the coffee, you know, you know, I gotta, I gotta accommodate different size mugs, of course, you know, because we've got these, and we've got like the, the bigger, wider Starbucks-y ones, um, so that's all we really need to do, so I just need to, we got a cylinder, and that's going to be like oh, 90, let's call it 90, just to be certain. Let's call it 50, 55 tall. That's pretty super simple. Let's uh, put this in CAD and get it over there. All right, now we're getting the good old auto desk. Auto wash, auto desk. You know what I hate about Autodesk is the fact that you have to be connected to the internet. It's, it's software as a service, and that's the way everybody's going now because these companies, they made their, they made their whole business model on the whole idea of selling overpriced software. And so people just pirated the shit out of it. <laughs> And uh, so now they're all like, no, no, we, you have to be logged in to, and it's like EA with gaming too. It's just terrible. It's just a terrible experience for the consumer. Um, and I'm not a fan of it, but it does, uh, it does get the job done. Um, just because I haven't really like taken the time to get into uh, what's this SketchUp or, you know, any of the other guys. So whatever. Anyway. Okay. So there is our cylinder. That's a good place to start. So 90 by 50, whoops. I'm also not using a mouse right now, so this is a little bit awkward. Um, just using the touchpad, but that's, ah! See what I mean? A little bit awkward. Okay, and then I need another cylinder, 120 millimeters, and we want it, how tall? Yeah, five plus five is a 10. Okay, and then cylinder, Center point, specify diameter, 90, operation, cut, and we're going to make it minus 5. That's what I wanted to do. So I got these two parts. Ooh, and I could, I could even, ooh, wait a minute. I want to do this real quick because I want to make it even better. Five by five, okay. I'll make a little peg. And then I'm going to make a little five millimeter hole. That way they sit perfectly together. That should work. So let's export this. 
get it over to the printer, and we're gonna be in business. Uh, so now I have a reliable spot to put my mugs uh, when I am sitting on the sofa watching the television and uh, don't have to worry about spillage or nothing like that. So that goes right down into the cup holder that exists and it just makes, makes a nice little uh, surface, a little, little uh, lip right here to prevent the mug from sliding off and it's good to go. Now, if you wanna see more silly 3D printing projects, go ahead and click the subscribe button there. You can also see projects in progress at the Instagram at the Airborne Surfer and connect with me on Twitter at Airborne Surfer. Here is a video that you two thinks you will probably enjoy and somewhere right in here is the show notes, which is gonna include the, um, <laughs> the 3D files for this. Uh, and whatever else I come to think of. In the meantime, my name is Atari, and until next time, tally-ho, y'all.